been a while since I feel like I've sat down and done a video like this. Yes team, welcome back to another video. I hope that you're all dressing well and of course getting stuff done. Today's video, we are going through my summer recent pickups. It's been over three months since I've actually showcased you a recent pickup, so I've got a few things to go through. So sit back, get cozy, and let's get into pickup number one. So starting with pickup number one, we have one of my favorite pair of trousers right now, and these are from Ronning, AKA Magnus's brand. Absolutely love these and the fit of them. They're definitely more on the relaxed side of things, and that's personally what I really like. Now I'm 5'11", floating anywhere between 78 and 80 kgs, and I went for a 32 waist. As far as the color and everything goes, I really like it. I get actually quite a few compliments on these when I do wear them out, and personally, I love teaming them up with either loafers or like slides or something like that. Yeah. Staying on that green train, and we have this really nice oversized t-shirt from Studio Nicholson. Now, I went for a size medium in this, and obviously it is meant to fit quite relaxed and oversized. However, the bottom of the hem isn't that long. It does have a, like a slight cropped fit to it, which I really like, so it's not like drowning your legs. What I really like about this is the material is super lightweight, so it has been like perfect for me for just like wearing throughout summer. So pick up number three, and it is absolutely my favorite one from the entire pickup. And it's because of the color, and if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you know there's one color that I'm really messing with right now, and that is this beautiful royal blue. Now this is the Emmy Paris, it's their new season uh, knitted, kind of like they call it, I think a funnel neck sweater, and I did get this from Farfetch, who are the sponsors of today's video, but I'll get into more of that in just a sec. Now I know this is my summer pickups, and it is still summertime, I did pick this up, but obviously I'm not really gonna be wearing this at the moment, but I got it now because I'm pretty sure, and if you guys like it as well, get on it, because I'm pretty sure this color will sell out very, very quick. I love it, I absolutely love it. I went for a size medium, I was tossing it between the medium and large, but overall I do think the medium fit me best. It is hard to have this in my wardrobe and not really be able to wear it yet, but as soon as the temperature starts changing in London, which, Knowing London will be pretty soon because it's been miserable for the past week, you will be seeing me starting this all throughout fall and winter. Now my fourth pickup, which is also from Farfetch, is this Isimiyaki En Place pleated, kind of like polo shirt in this incredibly nice brown color. Now I did get this in a size two, but I actually think I'm going to send this one back and size up to a size three. If you're unfamiliar with kind of like how uh, Isimiyaki on Place does their sizing, it's normally like a one, two, three, and four system. One is typically a small, two is a medium, three is a large, which is what I kind of want to size up to, and then four is an extra large. So this does fit me, however, I just feel that size three would just fit me just a little bit better. And to me, this is like something that I want in my wardrobe for such a long time that I just want to be really happy with the size. But as far as the design and everything, I love it. I, the reason why I'm a big fan of um, En Place and the pleats is because for someone like me who has a minimal style, it's a, like a really nice way to be able to add just a little bit more detail and texture to your outfit, make it a little bit more interesting without having to do an awful lot. And obviously this brown colorway, super easy to style, very, very versatile. You can team it up with pretty much any other kind of like neutral slash earth tone. So as I mentioned team, this video is in partnership with Farfetch and you all should know by now, Farfetch has been my go-to place when shopping online for the longest time. And there's a few good reasons for this. One is that they hold stock from so many different boutique stores all around the world, which means, in my opinion, they have the best selection and like curation of designer items online. Second is that they can offer a much larger range of sizes. And on top of that, sizes always come back in stock, which means I know like 99% of the time I'm able to get the size that I'm after. And thirdly is that Farfetch make returns so easy and just stress-free. As I mentioned before, I'm gonna be returning 
that Omplissé shirt to size up one. And it's kind of just great to know that, like I said, it's gonna be stress-free and nice and easy. On top of that team, the people over at Firefetch are such legends because they're also offering you lot 10% off your next purchase when you use this discount code. So if you are a fan of any of these items or you've had your eye on something else, go check out Firefetch, use the discount code and save yourself some money. So next up team, we have my like favorite lightweight jacket right now. This has been perfect for summer. This is, I think they call it kind of like one of their trucker jackets from Cole Buxton. And it's in this insane just nylon material. And as you can see, well, hopefully you can see it is quite like transparent as well. Now, when I did first see that they released this item, I did think it was sick, but I was like, ah, I don't know how I like really style it. Then I actually went and tried it on and I do pretty much love styling it with anything in my wardrobe. Very similar to the En Place shirt. I like that it's simple, it's neutral, it suits my style, but then at the same time, it just has that little bit of difference to it, that little bit of transparent and a way to just add a little bit more interest to an outfit because I do obviously like to dress on more of the minimal side. Now, as a reference on this, I did go for a medium because I wanted to fit kind of a little bit more traditional. However, I could size up to a large if I just wanted to be a little bit looser. So I would recommend go true to size, but if you're in between sizes, maybe just go up one size. I mean, would it really be be a video if I didn't show at least one thing from Uniqlo. We have one of my absolute favorite t-shirts, which is from Uniqlo. And I have to give a shout out to Sanj because he did put me onto these. And this is the five pound Uniqlo t-shirt, which is just sick. This t-shirt is definitely more on the slimmer fitting side. If I was going to change maybe one thing a little bit about it, it would be cool to just be able to not have the bottom of the hem so long. I'm not saying I want a cropped fit, but just be able to have it a little bit shorter, then to me, this would be just the perfect t-shirt. This is I'm, this is a size large. I, I, I went for a size large. Next up, we have the Studio Nicholson Polo in this really nice gray color. Now, let me tell you, I have had my eye on this ever since I saw them release it, but the recommended retail price of this is pretty damn high. I've, off the top of my head, it was either like 280 or 350, something where I was just like, no, thank you. And then I waited and waited. And then obviously we had the summer sales and I started to see it go on sale at places. But in my opinion, it was still just, it was too much. Most places had it for like 20 or 30% off. And I was like, no, I'll wait. It just happened to be that I went into the Studio Nicholson store and they actually had it in stock. And on that day, it was marked down to 50% off in my size, the last one and I love it. Typically when people think of like a polo shirt, I feel they just kind of think this really fitted frat boy or I don't know, just, I mean, even when I picture a polo shirt, I'm just like, I just picture just a ugh. Do you know what I mean? Where this is one, the quality is insane. The fit is beautiful. Obviously it's on that relaxed size, which I really like. And to me, it just, I don't know. I think it is such a beautiful piece and it's such a timeless item as well. Now, unfortunately, I do think this has pretty much sold out everywhere. However, I will try find as close as possible to alternatives to the same type of style. I do know COS do a very similar one, but I think it's only available in black, white and like a very bright orange. But if you like this type of fit, I'll try link that in the description box down below for you as well. Next up, we have this really nice Acne Studio knitted sweater, which I actually just picked up the other day because I was finally able to get it for 60% off. It was actually very lucky that I was able to pick this up because online, this is sold in an extra small slash small, so that's one size, and then a medium slash large, which is another size, and then so on and so forth. So ideally, obviously, I thought I'd be a medium slash large, and then it had sold out everywhere. I then was in Harvey Nichols, and I saw they had it, but they only had it in extra small slash small. So I was like, ah, that's annoying, but hey, I'll try it on anyway. Turns out, the sizing on these are just crazy because this, <laughs> this fits what I would picture to be like a medium slash large. And I'm so happy because I've had my eye on it for a while. What I really liked is it's so simple. The quality is great. And then you've just got this very subtle Acne Studio text in this kind of like shiny silver. It's quite low key, but it's just such an added nice little bit of detail. And 
yeah, I love the foot of this. I've already actually styled it out, but I used it more as an accessory. And I can't wait again till the weather starts getting a little bit cooler to have such a nice, just timeless piece in my collection. Now these first pair of shoes are gonna be probably the most controversial ones. And that is the Bottega Veneta like rubber sandals in this. I think they call it their sea salt color. Now, as you can see, I have worn these a lot. They are pretty grubby and I actually do need to clean them, but I love them. I absolutely love them. I know they're not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but I think they are sick. Now, as far as sizing goes, I did go down a full size and that suits me best. As far as comfort, I would say they're pretty damn comfortable. They're nowhere near the level of, let's say, Crocs or something like that, which yes, I'm aware of are much more affordable. Now they do get a few looks, not everybody likes them, but the main thing is, is that I like them and I think they're just such a cool like style piece with your outfit. And the second to last item are these Prada loafers. Now, these are the ones that do have that slightly chunkier sole and I absolutely love these. Now, I did go down half a size and they fit me perfect. They are so comfortable and they were so comfortable from the first wear as well. And I've worn them a lot and I've had no issues with them at all. What I would say is that when you do first put them on, like every single time I've put them on, they are extremely tight to get your foot in, but once it's in, it's, it's literally perfect. But I definitely need a shoehorn to help get my foot in. What I really like about these is that they add a little bit of difference compared to like my Arcade ones. My Arcade loafer is a lot more of a traditional pair where these just have that little bit of, you know, a little bit of difference to them, which is what I really like. And now we come on to the final uh, recent pickups and this got a lot of attention on my TikTok and also Instagram and that's because of what it does. Now this is the R Legacy, I think they call it their pillow tote bag and it's in this awesome purple colorway. But the main reason it got a lot of attention was because it has this kind of like heat, I don't know, technology in the material. Not too sure about it, but either way, this is what it does. So when I go on the tube in London, obviously it gets really hot. By the time I get out of the tube, this whole bag goes pretty much pink. As soon as cold air hits it, it goes straight back to the standard color. But yeah, anytime there's heat around, the color just changes. And I think it's sick. It's just such a cool little thing that it does. That's not why I got it. I actually wasn't aware it did that until it arrived. I like it so much because of the color. And if you've been keeping up with the channel, you'll know that bags and the kind of accessories is my way of adding kind of color and a little bit more detail to my outfits because I don't wear too much color uh, in my outfit. So it's a great way to add that little pop. On top of that, there's so much storage in here. If you're traveling, it's getting late. You just roll this puppy up. It's cozy, pillows in its name. And you know, you just go to sleep and then you'll wake up with a pink bag. And there we have it team. Those are my recent pickups from roughly the last three to four months. Again, don't forget to check out Farfetch and use this discount code to save yourself 10% off your next order. Other than that team, enjoy the rest of the day, keep dressing well, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.